We're getting a deeper read on the market's performance in 2021 and the winners and losers along the way. It looks like some favorite stocks of hedge funds missed the mark. Leslie Picker joins us now with more on uh, what sounds like a little bit of a familiar trend. Leslie. <laughs> yeah, I feel a little bit like a broken record these days, uh, Mike, but beating the market, not an easy feat in 2021. However, a basket of popular hedge fund longs didn't even come close. Goldman Sachs's basket of the 50 names that appear most often among the top 10 holdings of hedge funds, its so-called VIP list, returned just 11 percent last year. That's about a third the return for the S&P 500. Top names in that basket include Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, parent company Meta Platforms, uh, Google parent company Alphabet and Salesforce, they largely outperform. That's a lot of uh, beta there. But the next tier included names like Uber and MasterCard that helped drag returns last year. Of course, equity focused hedge funds also go short. Turns out a group of VIP shorts by dollar value was up 23% last year. Of course, that's opposite of where investors who are betting against these names want the basket to go. However, the top names in this group include Tesla, S&P Global, Moderna, Bank of America, and Home Depot. You can see there all of those dramatically outperformed the index last year. HFR tallies hedge fund returns year to date through November. We should be getting those December numbers soon, uh, which encompasses both the long and the short side. That number was about 10 percent for equity funds, less than half the S&P. Again, that's for the year to date through November. And yet total industry capital surpassed four trillion dollars in 2021 as investors maintained or boosted their exposure to hedge funds. So the hedge fund pitch, really, it's about macro factors like inflation and fiscal and monetary tightening. They say that that means that investors are going to want to park their money with the so-called smart money hedge funds, institutional investors. However, Mike, as we talked about, we've heard that story before. Maybe 2022 will be their year, but it's certainly been a, a, a frequent refrain in the last few years. Yeah, for say. sure. Uh, now, it is plausible, I have to say, coming into this year, and I think a lot of hedge fund managers can go to investors and say, look, last year the S&P is up 27 percent. The biggest pullback in the index was 5 percent. Hedge funds are not built to really keep pace with a market like that. Um, on the other hand, so many stocks got blasted, you know, so you would have thought there was more opportunity on the short side outside of, you know, really good companies like Home Depot if that was a crowded short. That's right. And equity funds in particular, I mean, they've kind of changed their pitch over the years. It used to be all about delivering alpha. You invest with us, we make these concentrated, risky bets in order to outperform the market. And there are certainly still funds out there that have been able to accomplish that in 2021. But there were these popular bets, excluding what we saw with the VIP basket and a lot of the large tech names. But there were popular bets in kind of the China tech space. There were popular bets with some of the smaller and mid-cap names that really missed the mark in 2021. They, they didn't deliver that alpha that a lot of fund managers were thinking that they might. And so, you know, it remains to be seen whether those investors will be punished for investing in those names or if that pitch for 2022, this idea that there are these macro factors and you want to protect your downside still holds.